Ski. Ollie White coming out. Now Ollie White, one and one, representing Wolverhampton MMA. It's coming off a loss to Callum Tuberfield at Golden Ticket Fight Promotion. It was an incredibly close fight. Now the things to watch with uh, Mr. Ollie White, Steve. Great clinch work, really good clinch work, great knees, and a good straight right hand. And that's, that's, that's a winning combination to me, Chris. Combination, exactly. Coming out of Wolverhampton MMA. Why not? Good stuff. Very proud fighting condition. Proud fighting gym. Seriously. <laughs> now what I like to see from these up and coming fighters is that they can put it all together. They've got the groundwork, the jiu-jitsu, they've got the wrestling, they've got the striking, they've got the clinch work, they've got the cage craft. And what they're doing here on Ballerine is putting it all together under these bright lights, under this pressure of this sold-out conference crowd and just showing just what they've been working on behind those closed doors in the gym. And the most exciting thing about it is this could be the next superstar coming out. You know, there's a ranking system to MMA. You do, you train, maybe you do some jiu-jitsu, maybe a boxing fight, kickboxing fight, amateur fight. And then you go and you do interclubs where it's just, you know, other fighters watching you, but you're in a cage, a bit of pressure, you go quite hard. And then you go amateur. And that's when you step up to a show like here at Ballerina. And then if it goes around this, you become the Ballerina champion. You can go off and join the UFC maybe, or Cage Warriors, or any other giant promotions out there, like we've had already. Work on your social media presence. Yeah, that helps. <laughs> and get finishes. Was it Sispanski representing Cobra Gym over in Northampton. And uh, his teammate, Lucas Sala, Salza, is a regular here on uh, Ballerina. And uh, they have pretty close ties with uh, BST, Lucas Lepienko, works at both gyms, I think. And uh, I think the Cobra gym was a bit of a, oh, there's Lucas Salah in his corner. I told you, I told you, Steve, look at my knowledge. And uh, yeah, I think it's one of those, it was guys trying to find a way to train during COVID. So they got together, some guys in very small, responsible groups, and did a little bit of training together. And they just, the name stuck. They are now Cobra gym. Look at that beard. Yeah, pretty incredible. Half Amish, half Dagestani. It's <laughs> <laughs> gonna be rangy. You got me. Category. You got me with that one, Steve. That was it. that was brilliant. That's, uh, I'm gonna best. I'm gonna get that clip when it's on YouTube and uh, share that one. That's very good. <laughs> Throw me off my game, Steve. I was in a uh, color commentator mode. I was, it was, I was selling stuff then. You're in it, man. Hi, man. Oh, I'm play by play in your color. I do. That's good. Cool. This oh, show brought check. to you by Eric's Fight Gear. Get the best fight equipment in the business. Made by fighters for fighters. No, re no relation to Tamway. Jusmanski taking on White. White in the, the Valley Tudor black shorts. Jusmanski, the gold and black. Oh, Suspanski doesn't want to go back to his corner. He's fired up, Steve. He's fired up. Looking a little bigger than his opponent is Suspanski. He's very, very tall, wiry. Yeah. He wants to come out. Well. <laughs> Look at you. It's an insane way to start a fight. Just running at them with your knee. Almost reminiscent of Karate Kid. Yeah. Love it. Somebody's been working out at Miyagi Do and COVID Gym. Oh, White looking for the takedown, trying to get a trip. Suspanski using that COVID Gym pressure. Got Lucas. Good left frame in. there. Ollie White uses it to give some trouble to Joe Spansky. 
Oh, Ollie White trying to get around that head. So Spansky getting the advice from Lucas Leffy and getting his corner. Really frantic pace to begin. Yeah, Ollie White trying to push that arm down, pass it across. Spansky. Good time for his knees to break away, maybe, and get some distance. Spensky is doing well to keep his back up against the fence. Neither of them owning really the head position in this over under clinch. A lovely knee from White. I don't think that felt good. Spensky. Yeah, it made a bit of a noise, didn't he? Spansky's so strong, just turning him, but just lacking the positioning, I think, Steve. It just seems a bit frantic. I'm worried about those knees now. I think one stung him, he's making adjustments. I think those are hurting his body. He's digging it to the body quite well. Now the head position is really good for Molly White. He can dig another knee in in a moment, which is done. He gives up the leg though. Nice knees again for White. Hunting them. Just fancy a nice little dirty little boxing uppercut. And he's got to watch the head. Amateur mixed martial arts rules, you're not allowed to lose the head. You were when we were fighting there. Yeah, just train it, training. Yeah, they've made it less cool. Training knee positions here rather than anything on the outside. It's weird, no one ever, they take it in turns to get like double underhooks and good positions, but they're not using it, not controlling with it, being easily just pummeled in like that, just like that. Spansky briefly had double underhooks, was pressuring, and just gave the space. I almost feel like both of them just need to go back to the old school pummeling drill. Just fight for yeah. double unders. Nobody does that. They tend to like get stuck in these kind of positions. There we go. Pushing the head down. Yeah, that's nice. White. Nice shots by White. Good dirty boxing. Nice knee to the body. Just fancy in the trouble. Oh, lands a big right to just fancy and it forces White to just drop for the double. <laughs> nice takedown. Ten seconds to go and all of a sudden White is Pouring started opening on. up. Spansky sneaking out the back, eating huge punches. Saved by the wow. bells, Shispansky. He was absolutely stuck there. Taking a moment to get back up. Is he out, Steve? He's just tired. Probably. He had a frantic pace there for three minutes. Lucas Lepienka, I give you a shout out on every one of these broadcasts. I'm always singing your praises as a coach. And you've got those cool double L t shirts. I know you got a nice XL one for me somewhere. Steve would like a small. Yep. <laughs> medium husky. A medium husky. Okay, sorry, Steve. What does it say on the shirt? Hard work, respect, discipline, humility. I like that. Look at that. COVID gym, BST, all the gyms that uh, Lucas Lepink has been coaching at. Watch Lucas uh, win his absolutely dominate his division at the ADCC UK Open. And it was a big old stacked division of. 20 of the UK's best heavyweight black belts ran through them. <laughs> it's looked like his corner left early. So Sianzi didn't really know where he's supposed to stand. So Spansky, he's having moments where he looks good, but he looks every bit the debut fire, doesn't he? He does. Very much the deer in the headlights. Yeah. God, he's getting cracked there. He's eating such big shots. Big now. shots there, no knees coming up the middle. It'd yeah. be very, very advantageous for White to look to break away and keep landing shots. Yeah. He does that. Very strong. Then you go back to his, his takedowns again. Big knee up the middle. White frames. Rowing confidence. Right hand is there. He's got his hands together in the double leg. He brings nice takedown. Very strong. Yeah. Now it's all White. Yeah, White riding up, trying to get a high amount. Can he Staying maintain the position, though? He gets Keeping the hook one in. hook. Second hook, two hooks in. As long as he keeps his weight back, he'll be safe here. There's White looking for some ground and pound, I think. Always risk being bumped over the top, but Suspansky flattened out. Big trouble now. Back to his knees, Suspansky doing the right thing. Oh, he's really struggling. Verbally making noises of distress, Steve. Like a dying animal. Yep, goes it. Alan Jackson is nice it. Just gives it up there. <laughs> Just Panksky the optimist. Not happy with the stoppage. 
Big screaming, big key eyes there from Ollie White as he takes it by ground and pound that in was, the uh, second minute of the second round. I think it was a solid stoppage, Steve, for an amateur fight. I was when, quite happy with that. Funny Boy's going, uh, uh, every time. And then, you know, you start laying shots into him and he's completely spread out. That's, that's respectful. We saw what happened to the young man a few moments ago. Especially, we have verbal submissions in the me. So, you know, if, if someone's in an arm bar they go, ah, in that's pain. Verbal submission. That's verbal submission. Did you submission. cry out? Yep, that's me. And he was, he was, he's definitely making a noise from some of those shots. It was just fancy. Your comment about an Amish Dagestani was the funniest thing I've heard in an old time. <laughs> he's also rocking a mullet. And a mullet. He's got the triple hit. It's like such a, such a great way of covering your face. Oh. I think he looked good. I think just calm down a little bit, Shishpansky. Think about getting behind your boxing and your kickboxing a little bit more. Not rushing the takedowns, focusing things, and working around where you want to bring the fight. Here this has been my the Steve improvement moment. <laughs> Big takedowns of Ollie White there. All the difference in the later moments of the fight. Takes him down, pounds him out, makes a beautiful account of himself. 